guys welcome back to my channel i am back today with another video for you guys okay so by the title y'all probably wondering what's what i have some news to honestly tell y'all some of y'all might already know exactly what is the deal and then some of y'all just probably like what's up you know what i'm saying so yeah i'm gonna just get straight into that but before we even go into any of that Go ahead and click that subscribe button, subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and click on that bell notification so you will be notified every time I upload a video. Okay, so let's get straight into this video. So I'm dressed up in this video because I have somewhere to go. Okay, so I just had to get this video out so I can just edit it, you know what I'm saying, and put it out. But yeah, so anywho, getting back to the video. This video is mainly about what happened throughout my process. Um, basically, did I swear in, and I'm gonna tell you guys what I felt, what I didn't feel, and all of that, you know, good. I got something to show y'all. I don't know. Yeah, girl, did it, okay? I did what? I did it. Let me tell y'all, it was, it was not easy for me. I mean, I'ma just keep it simple and plain. It was just not easy for me, okay? My meth journey, and even before that had even happened, like, a lot of this stuff that I'm telling y'all about, some people can go through it without no problems. You know what I'm saying? I'm healthy. Don't ever get me wrong. It was just like, I don't have law stuff. I don't have violations. I never ever went to jail. Never ever got a ticket. Never just, I'm really a good woman. You know what I'm saying? I'm a good girl at that. I thought a good woman. That's what I meant to say. A good woman. So, I didn't have none of that stuff to worry about. It was just, I had a kid and then like, whew, it was just a lot. And yesterday, I'm going to just tell y'all the truth. When I came home, it, I was so tired. Like, I was at MIPS for, like, 12, 13 hours. Maybe 14. 14 hours. And I finally, we all finally got to eat. Thankfully, it didn't take too, too long. But, I mean, no. It took long. It took long. When I get some time, I'll talk more about my MIPS experience or whatever. But, honestly, I'm so happy that I'm sworn in. Your girl is enlisted. I got a ship date. You know what I'm saying? I met the weight. Well, my tape measurements, I didn't get weighed. I got, well, I got weighed, but then I still got tape because that's another thing you can do when you're overweight. I was 150 and I was supposed to be 145. So, five pounds over. And then when they taped me, my waist was like a 28. And then my butt, my hips was a 40. Before all this had even happened like a week ago, my hips slash butt was like a 41.5. So I lost an inch and a half, something like that. And then my waist was like a 29.5. So I'm at a 28. So honey, I pulled it together. I'm gonna tell y'all the tea on exactly how this waist, honey, got snatched by the guards, okay? So I'm just happy I'm sworn in. Army that is, if y'all don't know. Um, I know some of y'all watched me throughout this whole journey and been with me, saw every steps, and was wondering like, what is next? Like. Where are you in your process? Like, and some people probably thought that this was not even real. Like, this is real. I don't know how I really can get it, but it's real. I just got like a lot of questions about just what's next. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and what's next, sis? It's we going to basic training. Okay. But I'm I'm just excited because of the fact that it's been a long time coming. Let me tell you, I've been on this process for since November last year until now. Like yesterday, yesterday I sworn in, today's a different day. So it's like, ooh, girl, ooh, girl. And I was gonna do a video when I got home to let y'all know what happened, but I was so tired. Like, I was worn out, tired, everything. Like, everything was just, ugh. And yeah, y'all, like, I'm so happy. <laughs> let me tell y'all the truth, even though I don't like talking about this. Um, when I got home, I actually just bursted out crying. Like, it didn't hit me to like, maybe after I post my picture, and then that's when everybody was like, oh, oh, da, 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 da. And then I just started seeing, like, I looked at the picture itself with me carrying the plaque, and I'm like, oh my God, this is real. Like, I, I, I cried nights and days to pass that ass back. I cried nights and days to just even be qualified or think that I, I, I used to think that I wouldn't be qualified. And now that I am, it's just like, it's been a long time, y'all. Like, y'all don't understand. Like, I tried for this in 2016, 17, and I just never really, I took it serious, but I always gave up after they gave me a no. And it was just like, time out for that stuff. Like, I finally 
put my foot down. I said, no, no matter what, I'm going to still fight. Because you know what? Anything you want in life, you got to keep pressing for. Like, don't don't think that everything that you see everybody else with, they got it like that. They don't show you the struggle. They show you the success. And really with me, I want to show y'all the struggle as well as the success because of the fact that I have been through a lot. Okay? And I said that so ugly. A lot. But no, for real, I've been through a lot and it's like, it's hard. And I know being away from my daughter is going to happen soon. And all I want to do this summer is just spend every day with her. Every day with her. Also, I did not tell you guys. I do ship out August 26th. And yeah. Oh. And I did say in my previous vlog that I was talking about in the hotel that I was not excited about where I was going. And I was talking about my basic training unit. They got me going to Fort Seal. Oklahoma, baby. Oklahoma. Out of all of them, I wanted to go to Fort Sam. You know what I'm saying? But they couldn't get me there. Like, the job that I chose, which is the 68 Whiskey, they could not get me there. So, it's like, what? 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 So, yeah. That's what it is. Um, I, I like the job. Don't get me wrong. I, that was one of the top jobs that I wanted to choose. My first one was a 68 Charlie, but... They didn't have it no more. And then the next one popped up was a 68 Whiskey. And then the other one was like an HR job. And I was hearing a lot of people say, do not take that job because it's stressful. Blah, 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 blah. I didn't want that job no way. I had already set aside like five jobs that I wanted to choose from. And I got the, one of the ones that I picked. So I'm, I'm happy and I'm satisfied with that. It's just, for see, I hear a lot of bad stuff. But the recruiters there yesterday at Melts, they was just saying like, man, basic training is not going to be hard for real. The problem is, you probably finna be with some little high schoolers that just got out of high school, and they gonna be bad as hell, and just, they just gonna be air well. Like, they just not gonna be mature enough to be like, okay, we, we gotta do this and that, that to get through this. Like, they would probably wanna be playing and stuff, and that's gonna be all of us. But anywho, that's a different story. I'm just going for me, you know what I'm saying? If I can help the next person, I'ma help that next person by any means. But y'all, I'm just excited. I'm excited and I can't believe this is happening. I cannot, I cannot. I cried yesterday cause like happy tears only because of the fact that God got me through this. That's, that's why my recruiters like, they was just even saying like, I don't know how this is happening for you so quick. And it's like, I never dealt with a, a applicant that had like a difficult, kind of a difficult time to like get in. And it was just kind of like, ugh. We get this today, and then it's back down to a no. And then we get this today, a yes, and then it's right back down to a no. But then on that last day, when it's like time for it, everything just become a yes. And I said, that's because I prayed, okay? That's because I prayed. I cried about it. Let me tell y'all, I'm telling y'all the truth. I cried every, every single night because of the fact that, y'all don't understand, I'm not from the Crown Hill. No, no, I'm not. I'm not, but y'all don't understand. I go through a lot. I'm not the only one that go through a lot, but I I come from where it, it, I I come from where a lot of people tell me that I can't. A lot of people look down at me like I'm not. Like a lot of people think that I'm better than them and I never ever give a person a type of vibe or any type of energy to think that I'm better than them and it just always try to make me seem like I'm not that girl. I'm not going to ever be that. I can't do that. You just stupid for trying for that. Like one person I told a while back, and I was like, you know, um, I'm still trying to, you know, get my weight down. You still trying for that? And a, a girl told me this. You still trying to try for that? And I'm like, dude, at, at the end of the day, you should support me because I'm doing something that you would never ever do. You know what I'm saying? It's sacrifice. And a lot of people don't see that, and I just want my daughter, hopefully, to see that what I'm doing today is, like, a good thing for her. And right now, she probably can't see it because she's only four years old. But I'm going to miss my baby. I'm going to miss her. I'm going <clears throat> I'm gonna cry. <clears throat> I'm going to cry about it. I'm going to cry when I miss her. She probably going to be on the phone crying, Mommy, when are you coming? I want to go home. And I'm going to be like, baby, I can't. But you know what? I love you. <laughs> but no, seriously, not like it's... It's a lot to deal with, and I feel like it's really, really going to really, really hit me when it's, like, getting close to my ship date, and I'm going to be so nervous, y'all. Like, it's, uh, I'm just I'm just happy, y'all. And a lot of people, um, you sometimes got to lead. 
I'm the type of person I was too comfortable where I was at and I never wanted to change. But see, my situation made my change because my situation was so, so hard. Not only top of that, it was violent. It was mental and physically hurting and it was just like, oh no, no. I, you know, hair falling out over stressing over this, this, that. It was time for me to get up from that situation and get me and my daughter up out of that and make something for me and her. Like, that's what it all ended up to. Like, at the end of the day, her mama has to be something that she sees. I want my daughter to look at me like, oh, my mama was that. I want to be just like my mama. You know what I'm saying? I want to be brave, just like my mama. And sometimes, girl, I be scared. I be scared. But you know what? That's okay because I believe in trusting God and God got me this far. In the next level, he going to get me through that too. Even with it being hard, I just going, I'm not, it's just pushing me and it's making me stronger to, to be able to face the next obstacle in life. And I'm just grateful. And I know I said I had somewhere to go and I'm still sitting here talking. It's just the fact that when I talk about this, it's just so overwhelming and I get emotional sometimes and I'm glad I did not cry on this camera because when I cry, I look ugly, okay? So, <laughs> but yeah, um, that's that. I sworn in, I got my shift day August 26th, going to Oklahoma. Um, my basic doesn't really start until September 3rd, so I guess it's a lot of processing within that time. But yeah, y'all, that's it. Like, that's it. Your girl made it. I made it, okay? I was tired when I sworn in. I was looking pale, as I don't know what, as y'all saw. I'm gonna insert some photos in here too because you need to see that. But yeah, I was looking pale. Pale as pale. I was tired and I was sleepy, and you could tell. That's it, y'all. So, you guys, with that being said, if you like this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel because, honey, I got a lot more to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all my whole journey from here to there to over there to down there to, to right there. Okay? So, make sure you do that. And, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.